Hey, what's happening guys? It's CJ. I know it's been a while, but today we got a special surprise for you. Today, we're gonna take the M550 wheels from this to this. So we've got a little uh, surprise for you guys today. Going to open this baby up and see what's in the box. And then we're going to go uh, see what we can do with the M550 and how we can change up the way that it looks. So, got a box within a box. We've got some, uh, some cleaner, some microfiber towels, and the most important stuff from dip your car, the hyper dip. So we're gonna run out, get this all set up on the car, get the wheels covered, and then we're gonna spray this on the wheels and go from uh, stock to black and see how it comes out. But guys, I'm gonna leave a, a link down in the description to the hyper dip. Uh, this is not your normal, regular old plastic dip. This is a new improved hyper dip and uh, check it out, get your some, and change your wheels from stock to black. All right. So we're out here at the car, and um, we're gonna show you guys how to get this thing prepped and ready to go. The first thing I wanna do is make sure that these wheels are detailed and clean and spotless and there's no imperfections, uh, dirt, dust, grime, um, anything brake dust. And um, we're gonna use the, uh, the pre-dip spray to thoroughly get the wheels prepared to accept the dip um, so it goes on nice and clean and smooth. Then we're gonna use the, uh, um, the dip release around the, uh, the tire to make sure that it peels off the tire uh, nice and easy. And then I've got myself good old painter's tape because what I'm gonna do is just, uh, I'm gonna put the painter's tape around some of the logo and the lug nuts so we don't get the dip all over the lug nuts. I don't think it'd be a big issue if you did. Um, it just matched the, the wheel a little bit better, but I just don't want to get dip on the lug nuts and um, a little M sport emblem right here. And then uh, once that's done, we're going to use one of these bags. We're going to show you guys how to funnel it around the wheel so it keeps the, the caliper and the rotor nice and dry and doesn't allow any dip to get on the, on the caliper or the rotor. These bags are really good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and uh, start spraying. So guys, I'm gonna uh, get this wheel ready and once it's ready, I'm gonna come back at you and we'll start to uh, start spraying. All right, so I masked, I masked off the, uh, the little M Sport emblem and uh, the valve stem. And now we're gonna get ready to uh, apply the dip release on the outside of the wheel. Uh, I'm just gonna take a, a microfiber cloth, rub it in rub it in around the, uh, the wheel, especially down by the, uh, or the tire, especially down by the wheel. If you get any on the wheel, just make sure you uh, get it clean pretty good. Um, otherwise your uh, hyper dip will probably not stick very well to where the dip release has uh, been applied. So we're gonna get uh, a little bit on there. You wanna make sure that you can, you really get it good into the lettering um, of the wheel so it comes off nice and clean. These wheels are dirtier than I thought. So 
want to take a nice clean spot. Just go over the, the edges. And then we're going to take the, uh, the pre-dip spray to make sure we clean up these wheels uh, real good before we apply the, uh, the dip. I'm going to take my other microfiber towel. Just to make sure these things are, are good and clean. And then after that, I'm going to come back and uh, tape off the love guns. center cap make sure that uh, we don't get all over the, the BMW I hate to get uh, ruin these nice loading center caps so uh, we're gonna get this square away and we'll come back at you and be ready for paint so we got everything taped off we got the bags in um, the bags literally just fit I had to take a little bit of tape and kind of push them together and uh, tape the two sides together to make a good fit but uh, they do fit nice I've got everything taped off I decided I'm not going to uh, tape off the lugs. I've just uh, put some newspaper in the center caps and um, cleaned everything up and uh, we'll be ready to go. So we're going to uh, get ready to apply our first coat here. So let me grab, uh, grab all the stuff and uh, start shooting. Sorry, right, we're going to make our first pass. This first coat is going to be really light. Then we're going to come back with six to eight heavier coats. All right, so after the first pass, kind of a light coat. You can see it's just kind of sprinkled on. The actual camera actually makes it look a lot lighter than what it is, but um, not too bad after the first, uh, first pass. Okay, so this is after the second pass. And again, it's a lot darker on the wheel than what it looks like on the camera. But it's starting to uh, darken up, looks pretty good. So we're gonna do again, we're gonna do two light passes and then uh, about four to six passes that are a little bit more wet uh, to really build up that color. But you don't wanna go so wet that it runs on you. But it's starting to look good. 20 more minutes, and we'll go to the third. All right, we're gonna try to hit these with a little bit wetter passes now.
All right, so this is pass number four. We're gonna start uh, laying it a little bit slower and a little bit thicker. Not too thick that it's gonna drip though. number five. Coat number seven. finished everything turned out awesome looks great and the yanked this uh, plastic out and uh, show you how she looks as a finished product Uh, 
and there you have it guys we'll give you some close-up pictures of what it actually looks like and uh i appreciate you watching do me a favor hit that subscribe button and uh if you're interested in uh, get, changing your, your stock rims to black check out dip your cars hyper dip and pick up a few bottles and a kit and uh you transform the look of your vehicle all right thanks guys thanks stay safe and uh have a good day